Okay, if you saw the very Onyx video, this is one of those figures I mentioned. Um, one of the three uh, that I ordered, or not ordered, that I bought, uh, well, well, that I got, I should say, um, during my trip to Florida. Um, this was, this figure, or this, I guess this isn't one figure, it's five figures, really. But this set, um, I picked up in Alabama, uh, not at the same, this I picked up at a Target, about an hour closer to Florida than the one that I got, the Baryonyx. Um, but this is a really cool figure that I, or well, set. I should say set because there's multiple figures. But this is a really cool set. I was super excited to get. Um, I went into the Target that had them. And first I went through and looked through all the Jurassic World stuff. They usually have like two or three different spots um, where there's some Jurassic World figures in Target. And I didn't see any of the minis. And I didn't see any big figures that I particularly wanted. They had a decent selection, but... None of the minis, which is the main thing I'm going after right now. Um, so at first I didn't get anything. And then right before we left, I went back and looked one last time. And I saw this and it was behind some like the whatever other dinosaur toy brand is at Target right now. That's not Safari Limited. Um, they might be like Animal Planet's brand or something, something like that. Um, where the figures aren't the highest of quality, but they're dinosaur figures. So I guess or whatever but this was hidden behind them so i was super excited to get this because this was the chaotic cargo pack uh, i think this is the one i wanted more i think they're both chaotic cargo but there's one that's like this exact same set but with different figures but the main figure is carnotaurus and this one's allosaurus and for me personally i prefer allosaurus um and also the character this one comes with a character i like more than the other set um so let's just get right into it also there's one other little thing. I got another one of these. This I did actually in Florida. This was the only figure I got actually in Florida. Um, so like I've said, um, there's only one mini I'm missing. I'm missing the Stegosaurus Atrociraptor pack. Well, at least of the mystery minis. Um, so you might have just saw what that one was. Uh, but we'll get into this set first. So um, I guess we'll use this. to. Okay, yeah. So, I already have opened this. I opened it because the tape wasn't on it great, so I was kind of wanting to make sure that all the figures were actually still in it. Uh, and they were, luckily. Uh, so, it has, like, a cool little back thing. So I'm going to keep the box just because I actually like the look of the box. But, uh, let's just get into the figures. So, there are... Oh, Five figures, four dinosaurs, well, technically three dinosaurs, and one other prehistoric animal that's a pterosaur. So let's just get into the one that happened to fall out first. So at first we have the Dimorphodon. This is one that you actually can't get in the Mystery Minis, so it's cool to get it. Uh, I'm kind of whatever on the Dimorphodon in the Jurassic World series. It's whatever to me, really. <laughs> um, and then we have the Velociraptor Blue. Um, Obviously, the main Velociraptor in the Jurassic World series. Um, and I like blue, but I don't, I'm just whatever. It, it, I'm kind of like the, some of the other people that are like, it's, I kind of would just care more about the species instead of having just specific named dinosaurs. But blue's cool, I guess. Um, I don't dislike blue any by any means, but it's just whatever to me, really. <laughs> Um, and then we actually did get a Stegosaurus. This isn't the mystery mini one, though, and I still don't have the Atrociraptor, so I am still going to be hunting, but it is nice to actually finally have a mini Stegosaurus because I do love Stegosaurus a lot. It is one of my favorite dinosaurs. Um, that's not a theropod because probably my, if I ever do a top 10 theropod or favorite dinosaurs list, there's going to be a lot of theropods. So now we're getting into one of the main reasons why I was excited to get this set. Well, we'll actually save him for last. But the person you get in this set is... Oh, is Owen. Very mini Owen. Uh, I, I mean, I think it's Owen. It looks like Owen. And considering Blue's in the set, I'm guessing it's Owen. And then the last dinosaur, uh, this is the only one that's visible. But these um, car chaotic cargo sets, you knew what you were getting if you looked online. Um, because you could see what each of the sets, you know what the Carno set has, and you know what the Allosaurus set has. Um, but this one's main dinosaur was the Allosaurus. Uh, and if you know me, Allosaurus is one of my favorite dinosaurs, if not my favorite dinosaur. So, definitely 
not upset about getting an Allosaurus. I was honestly surprised at first that Allosaurus was not one you could get in just the mystery minis. And then that's when I found out about these sets where there's more minis that are not not the mystery ones. That's when I found out about the Carno and the Allosaurus because I was very surprised at first that the Carno and the Allosaurus did not have their own figures in the mystery mini sets since they're two of the cooler dinosaurs in it. Especially considering that there's like the um, Yang Chuanosaurus that gets a figure and it's not even like featured in the movie, at least not that I can remember. Uh, there's two dinosaurs in there here that have articulation. The Stegosaurus has a bending thing in its tail. Uh, and the Allosaurus has the movable jaw. Uh, and I'm glad that these were the two bigger dinosaurs in the set because, you know, obviously we have some fossil evidence that these two dinosaurs would have fought before. So it's cool that they were the two main ones in this set. Um, and I am going to try to find that Carno set. If not, I can just order it, but... Um, I would like to find it in store, but overall, really awesome little set, um, I really like it, oh, and Owen's articulation is, he can, like, squat over, so you can make him sit down, or he can stand up, and I think he can, yeah, he can move his arms, they're, like, locked in, though, so he can move one up, they're both going up, um, personally, though, I wouldn't have cared if the minis just didn't include people, and it was just all dinosaurs. Sorry about that. We ha I had to cut out the video for a little second, uh, but now we're going to show off the, well, if I didn't, if this didn't sound great, um, because there was some background noise, but, uh, I personally wouldn't have cared if they just didn't include people in the set and just did five dinosaurs, just because I don't really care as much about the people in the Jurassic series. I mean, I do care about them, obviously, but... As far as figures, I would just rather get more dinosaurs, so... But, I mean, I'm fine with getting a person, but... I would rather just get more dinosaurs, honestly. Uh, so, now we're just going to get into the mini, um, which you probably saw, but there it is. It is another Rexy. Um, so, I think that makes about my fourth Rex. Um, so, now, this is what's crazy, though. Out of the set... I mean, that's probably the best one to resell, though. I don't think I'm going to resell it, though. But out of the set um, of the minis, uh, I, that means I have four Rexes, one Giganotosaurus, zero Stegosaurus, one Quetzal, one Therizinosaur. Or no, I think I got two Therizinosaurs, uh, two or one Baryonyx, one Yangchuanosaurus, and two Triceratops. So I really need that Rex. Or not the Rex, not the Rex, not another one. Uh, but I really need that Stegosaurus. So thank you all so much for watching. Uh, the last video is going to be another Acrocanthosaurus figure. So, hopefully you all enjoyed that Carnegie Collection Acrocanthosaurus video. And I think you all did, because that video actually did pretty decent, or pretty well. Uh, but there is going to be another Acrocanthosaurus video. And it will, I probably will have a comparison of it in the Carnegie Collection Acrocanthosaurus, just to show which one I think looks a little better. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I am out. Okay, I actually did want to throw in one more thing, just for a size comparison of the Allosaur figure. Um, here it is compared to the Rex. Um, so it is a decent little bit smaller, which is actually works really good, considering the Allosaur is smaller than the T-Rex. But it's not a smaller figure by any means. It actually sizes up pretty well for the movie, um, because here's the Velociraptor compared to the Allosaurus compared to the T-Rex. Um... I think they all size up pretty well for the movie. Um, so thank you all so much for watching. And this is the actual ending. Um, unless I end up trying something else then. But like I said, thank you all so much for watching. And I'm out hopefully for good on this video. <laughs>